What's going on people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well in isolation today. It's a beautiful sunny day outside, but you should still stay in and you can enjoy the sunlight that comes through, like you could probably see on my face now. A ray of light that I've been trying to eliminate by putting all sorts of curtains up and I just can't. So as I get more expressive towards the camera, my face might light up every now and again. Anyway, welcome to a Chelsea News video where I'm going to be talking about what's in the headlines this morning, who's being spoken about, etc. And also, there's something I want to do at the end of the video where I want to pull up some numbers, some statistics comparing Jeremy Boga and Willian. Right, so Willian's out the door, Jeremy Boga is at Sir Swallow. Chelsea have a very cheap buyback clause for this player. And actually, I want to tell you how his numbers compare to Willian. Interesting. So before I crack open the news and then the player comparison, I'd want to request that you there subscribe if you've not yet done so. Please do sub to Football Therapy. And if you want to help a brother out, feel free to like the video. All right, then, let's get into it. Let's start off with Lautaro Martinez, a player that I've spoken about a little bit recently that apparently Chelsea are very interested in. So say if the reports around football media this morning and indeed last night. Antonio Conte's Inter Milan striker isn't an elite marksman in terms of numbers, but he's recognized as one of the hottest prospects in world football as a centre forward. Of course, there is a buyback clause and both Chelsea Football Club, apparently, and Barcelona are interested in the player. Reports this morning are saying that Chelsea are willing to blow Barcelona out of the water in terms of a contract offer for the Inter Milan striker. Now, generally, as things stand, Martinez is apparently wanting or prefers to go to Barcelona, and that's unsurprising. They're Barcelona, they're winning a lot constantly, and of course, Course, Argentine superstar Lionel Messi is still at Barcelona and playing and Martinez might be allured by Messi. I mean think about it, if you're an Argentine international and Messi's still playing for Barcelona and you've got a chance to go play there, you're probably going to try and go play there aren't you? Still, football is a football and things change all the time. He will probably see Chelsea as an exciting opportunity regardless and if Barcelona can't get the deal over the line or can't make the buyout clause or can't find a deal that suits into Milan, maybe the higher wages that Chelsea Football Club are offering Martinez is more alluring to the player and a transfer could potentially be done in the summer transfer window if indeed there is a normal summer transfer window. Personally, I think Martinez is an absolutely classy player and although he, I think he'd probably be overpriced considering the amount of goals he scores, him turning up at Chelsea in a Chelsea shirt, the way he plays with such determination and you can tell he really, really backs himself. More, He offers more confidence than saying Alvaro Morata would have done when Chelsea bought him. Do you know what I mean? The way he plays and his work rate and industry, I think he'd be excellent in the Premier League. But like I said, Chelsea, if, if they want to buy more of a second striker, then you don't get Martinez. We'll have to see what happens, but I'll, of course, keep you all updated here on Football Therapy. Right, next up, Hakimi of Dortmund. Well, actually, of Real Madrid now. The Athletic are reporting that Chelsea are long-standing admirers of Hakimi. And now his loan spell is ending with Dortmund. Things are going to start moving and things are going to start happening. Although Dortmund would love to keep the player who's absolutely torn it up at Dortmund, Real Madrid are going to bring him back to the Bernabeu to either play him, he could be, you know, a future player for Real Madrid, he's that good, or try and flip him and make a massive profit. He's, he'll have two years left on his contract, so if you want to sell him and make a decent amount of money, you can't muck about anymore, you've got to flog him this summer, especially if he won't sign a new deal, unless perhaps they come to an agreement where he will start playing, sign a new deal, and be playing in Madrid next season. But Real Madrid probably want to make some money. Remember last summer, they spent so, so, so much money. They bought, they, they bought so many players, and they didn't really sell any. So, over the three year period of financial fair play, they might need to balance some books and they might see an opportunity to do that in selling Hakimi for what, 60 million euros or something like that? Now, it's interesting to hear Chelsea are long standing admirers of the player. 
It, they've been negotiating for Alex Tellez with Porto for a while. Obviously, there's no deal done yet. And if they see an opportunity to get a young player like Hakimi to maybe play instead, they might just be keeping their options open. If they were prepared originally to pay 70 million plus for Ben Chilwell, who might be going to Manchester City now, 60 million euros for the likes of Hakimi, who was an absolute baller, very, very young too. Might look like a good long-term option, much more long-term than perhaps Alex Tellez. Now, these are just rumors going around the news at the moment, but still, I wanted to talk about it because I like the look of Hakimi. He's an absolute rocket. He's very, very versatile and can play on both sides. Um, don't know how good he is defensively, but as a wing back and a full back, and even as like a winger, he can do it all. He's kind of like, I don't want to say, he's not like Reese James, but in terms of the engine, he could be like Reese James. So Chelsea could fully utilize the full backs and the flanks to the optimum potential of two players like this. We'll have to see what happens. Obviously, it's just interest being reported, but the fact how a reputable publication like The Athletic are now talking about it only bodes well for Chelsea, and it's good to know that they are looking at Hakimi. Next up, a couple of words on Willian. Obviously, I've reported on his uh, recent comments about how it's pretty much done at Chelsea, how there's no way back, how he's going to go in the summer. Now, this is really interesting because he said he wants to stay in Europe and he doesn't want to go back to, like, say, Brazil just yet. So you thought, oh, maybe a big European club, but I think he does like to stay or he'd want to stay in London. So there's been a lot of talk about both Arsenal and Tottenham and the reports in the headlines this morning are saying Tottenham already trying to make early moves to secure the signature uh, for, for Willian in the summer. Now, this kind of makes sense. It's the Jose Mourinho romance story. He wants, he'll always love Willian. He wants up to five players this summer, so serve Jose Mourinho. And I don't think they've got loads and loads of cash to spend. So Daniel Levy will see the opportunity to secure one of Mourinho's players that he wants for a free transfer. That could probably work nicely for them. They'd probably just about stretch the three year contract that Willian would want. And look at his athleticism and be like, all right, we'll sign you on to a free, give you X amount of wages and you come play for Tottenham. <laughs> Still feels weird saying it, man. It's a very peculiar situation. How will the Willian song go? <laughs> the Chelsea fans will probably feel pretty dumb for years and up to seven years singing, he hates Tottenham, he hates Tottenham. Mate, he is just potentially going to sign for Tottenham. Whatever, watch this space and I'll keep you guys updated on where Willian ends up in the near future. And staying on Willian, kind of, let's talk about him and let's talk about Jeremy Boga. Boga is a Frenchman in his early 20s who was at the Chelsea Academy and was an excellent prospect. He played a little bit under Conte, he was sent off and he eventually signed on a permanent foot to Sassuolo in Serie A, where he's playing now. But Chelsea have a 15 million euros, which is about 12 million pound buyback clause, which is absolutely nothing in this current climate. Now, Boga's done very, very well indeed for Sassuolo, scored some wonder goals, so playing well, and Chelsea are considering to activate the buyback clause, and the director of Sassuolo has pretty much said Chelsea and them will be doing a deal come the summer. So, he's already about 10 years younger than Willian, but how do his statistics hold up? Well, I'm going to pop up a graphic on the screen from whoscored.com comparing their offensive matrix. Now, the first thing you could probably see is that he's got a higher rating than Willian. Although Willian's played generally very well in many ways for Chelsea this season, Boga has still been granted a higher who scored rating. Now, they both have the same amount of goal involvement. He has more goals, which is generally good for a forward. They both have 10 league goal contributions. But Jeremy Boga's done it in about an hour less game time. Another massive notable statistic on this screen here is that Jeremy is an excellent dribbler. He does more than twice as many dribbles as Willian and take-ons are important for forward creative players. Generally, he looks very, very good. Obviously, he's so much younger and Chelsea can get him for little as 12 million pounds. So think about that. People are talking about elite replacements for Willian. Boga might be enough. Him in the Hakim Ziyech in the summer, people will feel like they're lacking that super, super, superstar signing. But really, if you look at his numbers and his sort of career trajectory, it could be pretty darn good. And you still have the likes of Ziyech, Pulisic, Hudson-Odoi, 
for quality on the wings as well. So people need to chill. Even if Chelsea don't spend loads and loads and loads, they could still have an excellent squad next season. Anyway, what do you guys think? I want to get your thoughts and opinions on the news stories I've spoken about in today's video. Willian to Tottenham, how does that make you feel? Does Jeremy Boga fit the bill? Will he be enough? Will he be enough for Chelsea next season to fill that fourth winger slot? Express your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And remember, Mason Mount can fill in at left wing as well. And that has actually played pretty well there at times. Uh, let me know what you think about Lautaro Martinez, um, Hakimi at left back, Alex Tellez. Get, just basically get down and express yourself in the comment section. And if you've enjoyed the content today, guys, please do like. The video helps me out a lot. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick. That's it for me, everyone. You lot enjoy the football that is sadly not happening at the moment, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby